Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the New York Comic Con exclusive Funko Pop of Cookie Monster that I got at Barnes & Noble. Um, I didn't have time to go get this when it was available at Barnes & Noble. Most places sold out the day of, but like five days later I was at Barnes & Noble and there just happened to be one chilling out on the shelf. Um, its box looked like it had been kicked by somebody and like it's been retaped. Like, I guess this box really saw some action. Maybe someone returned it. Maybe someone stepped on it in the back room. I don't care, I'm just happy that it ended up on the store shelves and I got it. When I was a kid, I loved Sesame Street. So when Funko made pops of Sesame Street characters, I thought, oh, that's really cool. I don't think I'm gonna get any of those, but I like that they made them and I think they did a good job with them. But maybe, maybe I'll get Cookie Monster. Because when I was a kid, he was my favorite, and nostalgia goes a long way. But when they announced that they were doing a flocked version of him for New York Comic Con as an exclusive, I thought, well, that's the one I want. That's what I'm going to get, because I'm a sucker for exclusives. So that's what sold me on this. Now, if you don't know what flocking is, flocking is when you take something and you shoot this little, like, furry spray on it. So it maintains the original sculpt of the figure, but it has, like, a little touch, like a hair to the touch feeling. It's a little furry. Um, and I think... That's great when you take characters that are supposed to have hair or fur to them. It's a really nice added touch. They did that to like Chewie and Ewoks and like Simba and stuff like that. This looks really cool in that version. It gives it even more of a Muppety look. Like, that's great for these kind of characters. They should do all the Muppet figures like this, I think. Now, the sculpt of him looks great. Like his head, the fur, like the lines of his fur look awesome. His googly eyes look great. Now there's a little bit of glue in the middle of googly eyes, but you know, it is what it is. This is the only one I could get, so I'm not going to complain about anything. The actual cookies look good, despite the fact that he's got like a little glop of glue right there on the edge of his hand there. But again, sometimes you can't really deal with that stuff. You just have to go with it. Um, cookies are, the little chips are well painted. The bite out of the cookie looks good. The sculpt of his hand holding the cookie looks great. The sculpt of both hands actually read really, really well. And then his body looks good too, like his feet, his footing, his toes all look good. Again, like the bumps of his surface look great. There's no real paint to complain about as far as the figure goes, like there's just blue fur. His eyeballs, the black paint in his mouth, and the mouth line does look good. And I gotta say, this pop looks cute. Cookie Monster reads really well as a pop. The flocking looks really good. I freaking love this. I got nothing else to say. Thanks for watching.